Welcome to RK Tutorials, Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Timoshenko, 5th edition. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 3.3 and problem number 3.39. Determine the coordinates x, c and y, c of the centroid c of the area of a right angle triangle O, A, B with base and height R, B and H respectively. So, I would like to find the centroid for this right angle triangle with base is B and height is let us consider a small rectangular strip which is at a distance of x from the y axis and let the width of the strip is dx and let the height of the strip is y. Clearly we can see the height of the strip y is not constant. The height y depends on the value of x. So we need to find a relation between that x and y. Now this, let, this is the centroid for the small rectangular strip which is exactly at the center. Now xz, let xz is the uh, centroid coordinate for the small rectangular strip and yg is the centroid for the small rectangular strip. By integrating this xz, I can calculate the centroid triangle. By integrating this yg, I can calculate the centroid y coordinate for the right angle triangle OA. Now, the x centroid of the small strip x is equal to x plus dx by 2 and dx is very small. So, it, it can be neglected as compared to x. So, xg is equal to x and the area of the small strip is equal to y into dx. But as we discussed, y is not constant. y is a function of x. So, we need to find a one relation between that x and y. For that, I will consider the right angle triangle OAB here. Consider the right angle triangle OAB and the another right angle triangle. Let us say here it is D and it is E. Consider the right angle triangle ADE. So, for this full right angle triangle OAB, the base value is equal to B, height value is equal to H. For the small right angle triangle, the base value, so this becomes b minus x and height becomes y. So by using the concept of similar triangles, I can write the equation b by h is equal to b minus x by y or that y is equal to h by b into b minus x. I will use this equation. Now you can see the relation between that x and the height of the strip y depends on the value of x and the relation y is equal to h by b into b minus x. Now the the x coordinate of the centroid for the right angle triangle OAB xc is equal to integral xg dA by integral dA. Now xg is nothing but x and dA is equal to y dx. Let us calculate the numerator and denominator individually. So first let us calculate the numerator that is integral xg dA where xg is nothing but x and dA is nothing but y into dx. But you know the y is height of this strip which is not constant and this is also a function of x. So let us substitute this y value here. Then integral xg dA is equal to integral. Now here the integrand clearly you can see that it is x. So and x limits are varying from 0 to b. Hence it is integral 0 to b x into h by b into b minus x dx. So let us perform this integration. Now h by b is constant you can take outside then you will get bx minus x square. So h by b into integral 0 to b, bx minus x square and bx integration b into x square by 2 and x square integration x cube by 3. So you will get h by b, b into x square by 2 minus x cube by 3 and the limits are varying from 0 to b. And say after simplifying, you will get the equation h by b into b into b square by 2 minus b cube by 3, which is nothing but h by b into b cube by 6 which gives the value hb square by 2. So integral xg dA, you will get the value hb square by Now I will calculate integral dA. Integral dA is nothing but y into dx, area of the small strip y into dx, but y is a function of x, we already calculated. So integral dA is equal to integral 0 to b, h by b into b minus x dx, h by b is constant, you can take outside, bx minus x square by 2, by substituting 0 to b, you will get integral dA is equal to half h into b. Now, this is numerator and this is denominator. So, I can calculate the x coordinate for the centroid of the right angle triangle xc is equal to hb square by hb by 2. So, this you can perform like this hb square by 2 into 2 by hb. So, hs gets cancelled, bb gets cancelled and you will get the value 
b by 3. This is the x coordinate answer for the right angle triangle OAB. Similarly, we will try to calculate the y coordinate. So, yc is equal to integral yg dA by integral dA, where yg is equal to y by 2, where the centroid of the small strip yg is equal to y by 2. So, y by 2 into dA is nothing but y dx. So, here you can y square by 2 dx, but we have calculated a relation between y and x. So, I will substitute that relation here. 1 by 2 into integral 0 to b, we identified y is equal to h by b into b minus x. So, it becomes h by b into b minus x whole square dx. So let us try to perform the integration. h by b whole square is constant. I can take outside. So, h square by 2b square and b minus x whole square integration minus b minus x whole cube by 3 and the limits are varying from 0 to b. Now, first let us substitute b and later you try to substitute 0. That means you will get h square by 2b square into, first you substitute b, then you will get minus b minus b whole cube by 3 minus of minus b minus 0 whole cube by 3. So, here b minus b, it becomes 0. So, this is 0. Minus of minus, you will get plus and you will get b cube by 3. So, this is equal to h square by 2b square into b cube by 3. And you can simplify, then you will get h square into b by 6. Integral dA, you already calculated in the previous slides, that is half h into b. Now, I can calculate the y coordinate of the centroid for the right angle triangle integral yg dA by integral dA. Integral yg dA is h square b by 6 by 1 by 2 into h into b. So, this you can simplify like this, h square b by 6 into 2 by hb. bb gets cancelled, hh gets cancelled and this is by 3. So, you will get h by 3. Hence, the y coordinate of the centroid yc is equal to h by 3. So, finally, we calculated this distance is equal to b by 3 and this distance is equal to h by 3. So, this is the centroid for the right angle triangle.